Thank you for joining me. I'm Juan, lead trader and founder of Prosperity Trade. In this video, we're going to discuss Sensionics. Have they given their first hint, their first clue of how the 180 day sensor is going to look? You're going to want to watch this video. So before we look at the 180 day, I just want to look at a few articles that are showing us that Sensionix is pretty much becoming a household name. So just remember, there's a few things to remember. The market share, the market share for this CGM device is still growing. There's still a lot of market share left. Only about 15% of diabetics actually use CGM. So there's still a lot of potential. And that's where the advertisement's going to come in. That's where Sensionix Partnering up with Asensia makes total sense because Asensia will handle all the advertisement. But with that, Sensionix is becoming more popular. Although it's dominated by Dexacom and Abbott and Medtronix, Sensionix is starting to make its footprint in this industry. This is one of the first articles I found, and they get into the top CGM companies. Of course, they named Dexacom as the leader in of market share, which is true. They have the majority of the market share. And rightfully so, they're a great company. They're ran very well. They're very professional, great management. Their financials are great. And you can, and that reflects on their market cap has been growing year by year. They're in, when they first reported revenue growth in 2020, I believe, they blew out their revenue, I mean, by like 48%. And they've been dominating. So they, they're a major competitor. We just want to get our foot into the, you know, with Sensionix, you just want to get your foot into the door, start having some of these customers come over, start having some of the Medtronic customer come over. Once they see the freedom of being able to have their device on for 108 days, I think it's going to bring in a lot more people slowly. And when they get in, then I don't think they're going to want to leave because then they're going to see the potential for the 365. So Medtronix here in second leading position with the overall CGM. But Medtronix has their hands in a lot of other medical uh, supplies. They're, they're another good company. Abbott also in third, but it states here they don't maintain significant market share, but they do offer the Freestyle Libre Pro. And Sensionix doesn't uh, occupy the majority of overall market. However, the company does rank as the third leader in the personal continuous glucose monitoring market. And that's basically right now with their 90 day sensor only, they're starting to get their foot into the door. Now, a few things I definitely want to point out uh, before we, we keep talking about this. Just know Sensionix is not profitable. They're highly affected and highly susceptible to COVID. So Dexacom is not as susceptible to COVID because they can mail the device to your house and you can self-implant it. But Sensionix, it's considered a simple surgery. So they have to go to the doctor's office. They have to get it implanted. So during COVID, they took a big hit. And when their earnings come out, we have to keep this in mind. They're not profitable yet. They're still competing. They only have their 90 day sensor and it has to be calibrated, meaning they have to, the person that has the 90 day sensor, they still have to prick themselves every day to, to just make sure that the blood that you, you prick and the blood, the, the sensor reading of the machine is matching. It's not off, you know? So this is still, if you're a person ha having to prick yourself every day, it's, it's not something that you want to do. They're still getting their foot into the game. But with that, just be careful during earnings coming up. If they miss earnings, this is going to drop a little bit. It's going to drop. It does have a high short interest. There's a lot of people shorting it, expecting it to drop a little bit. I've been talking about this company since... Two, I mean, it was under $2. I don't mind riding it out while it drops and goes up. I'm I'm in it for the 180 day and hopefully the 365 day. So just keep that in mind. If you're not in it already, I don't. I wouldn't feel too comfortable playing the earnings play, especially with Sensionix. May have some shaky earnings. I hope they surprise us, but I don't feel like they're gonna beat earnings. Uh, if they do, it's it's gonna rally the 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 price. But you know, we'll see during earnings. So another article here from US Med Medical Supply, they they have a lot of suppliers and they carry the top suppliers for CGM. And of course, they have Abbott, they have Dexacom, and they have the Eversense. Another positive sign that this company is just becoming a household name. This is from MarketWatch. They get into uh, the United States continuous glucose monitoring market size demands and key players are Abbott, Dexacom, Medtronics, and Cionics. This was published on August 25th, uh, 2021. 
And they kind of just get into the differences between the companies and just basically name that these are the leaders of the companies right now. So it's not a large group of players. And if anybody wanted to get into it now, you know, they're, they're a little bit on the late game. You know, they're playing behind. There's just a lot of competition for any new company emerging now trying to compete with these guys. And they're all fighting for spots. Dexacom being the leader, Medtronic's being second, and Abbott and Sensionics fighting for third. It really, Sensionics, their main focus is CGM, and that's where their research and development goals, and they're trying to move up on the ladder. Abbott has a lot of other things going, but this is, they're also, they still have their, their, their Libre uh, CGM device. Again, so we talked about the CGM market size, how it's been growing. 2028, 918 million. 2019 is over a billion. And they expect for this to keep growing as high as 10% over the next few years. And it was actually in 2020, it was valued to be 4.7 billion. So the market for the for CGM is rapidly growing. There's a lot of potential for this market. One positive sign here that although this is really uh, advertised for Swedish and European users, but when I, when I Google ever since 180 ad here, and this is in the US, on the fourth link, fourth search, when you click on it, it takes you to the page of ever since Excel up to 180 days of freedom. And I've Google searched it before and I've never seen this pop up. And even though this is marketed overseas in Europe, you're starting to see how they're going to advertise it and how the transition would be easy. I mean, if they're already approved that they already have everything ready to go to start advertising it. And they have just a real nice design. It kind of just, the picture tells you a lot, you know, so you have your 180 day sensor, 180 days of freedom, right? 180 days of freedom, meaning you can put that sensor on, you go to your doctor, he, ins he pl implants it, takes about five minutes. It's not painful. It goes right under your skin and you're good for the next 180 days. That's 180 days of freedom. The machine will wake you up if you're Sugar drops way too much, it'll vibrate and hopefully you'll wake up and get yourself something to drink, something to eat. You have the freedom to go swimming. They have this person in the background rock climbing. And you see here, they have the, the device. Here, the Eversensor, the Eversense sensor is no longer contraindicated for use with some MRI scans. So that's another positive thing. You can get, get an MRI, click on learn more. So here we have the 180 day sensor life. This is what goes under your skin. And it says other CGM systems require a sensor removal and reinsertion every two weeks, which is the majority. They have the Dexacom, Abbott. They re you have to change it out every 10 to 14 days, depending on the company. While ever since, last up to 180 days. Again, think about it. If you're a diabetic and you have to get Dexacom and you have to reinsert it, insert it every couple of weeks. With ever since, you can see your readings directly on your compatible mobile device. So that's another positive thing. You know, one concern is that Apple is going to be coming out with a watch where, you know, it, it can do the same thing that the CGM can, can do. And that is, that is uh, definitely a concern. But ever since, compared to all the other brands, when they measure the MARD and they see the, how accurate it is, ever since is more accurate than all the other companies right now. I think that'll be a concern if you're a diabetic, how accurate is the Apple going to be? So right now, ever since distribution partners are in Germany, Israel, Italy, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland. So this is all a great sign. I mean, if the 180 day sensor and the ever since is being used and distributed all around the world, I mean, how is it going to fail? You know, here it's still possible, but there's not a large statistics of the EMA or like the FDA for Europe, things getting approved over there and failing over here. There's not a high number. Now there are, there are a, a few things like with Europe, they do approve certain things and their restrictions are a little bit looser than the United States with certain things. With, um, and that's because they depend on the providers to professionally use their whatever, whatever got approved to, to use their devices. So there are some restrictions. Some things are a bit easier. It, it is a little bit easier to get 
kind of their FDA approval over there. But I don't think it would be used over there this long in so many different countries. And it's no issues that all of a sudden the United States is going to be a million times stricter. And so I, I feel comfortable that they're going to get that 180 day FDA approval. Just keep in mind when you bet, when you invest in these biomedical companies, they are the riskiest investments you'll ever make. I mean, to, in my opinion, you know, so when you invest in these products, when you invest in these biomedical and I, and some of my swing trades, my best swing trades are biomedical stocks and some couple of my worst swings. Well, I have one way swing trade. My worst swing trade ever was a biomedical stock. You know, you basically just want to stack everything in, in your favor. So sometimes people look, ask me to look at biomedical star, stocks and everything looks good, everything looks good, but then there'll be two things that are like red flags in my opinion. And I was like, I, I just tell them I'd rather stay away. And they end up getting FDA approval and it goes up 50, 60, 70%. And I look like, okay, I, I didn't know what I was doing. But for me, there's just so many things that can go wrong with FDA approvals and it, they, don't, they drop so quickly. If, if anything gets delayed, if anything gets denied, that you have to really get in early so you can have that buffer, that room, and you have to be extremely strict and disciplined when choosing your biomedical stocks that you're going to swing trade or invest in. This Sensionics for me, it's, it's really just a glorified swing trade. I'm just kind of buying the room, I've been in early and selling the news. This is not a long-term investment, but I would love to hold it for the 180 day and ride the momentum. And if it keeps going up and it keeps maintaining, I, may, I'm not, I don't think I hold my, sell my position because then, then the next year there's a 365. So this may end up being like a, a long-term swing trade for me. Remember, earnings are coming up. They may miss earnings. So it may give you an opportunity to buy when it drops. And the 180 day, all signs, everything is looking good so far. And really, I would be surprised if they don't get FDA approval. But if they don't get FDA approval, it is going to crash hard like that. I can guarantee you that it will crash hard if they don't get FDA approval. So just be mindful of that. Do your due diligence. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and like. Thank you.